I recently picked up an application that I haven't been working on for a while, and after updating the composer dependencies, I saw this notice specifically depreciated. You are retrieving the service locator from within the class user controller index controller. Please be aware that service locator aware interface is depreciated and will be removed in version 3 along with the service locator aware initializer. So I figured I would go ahead and make a short video about how to resolve this before getting around to complaining about whether or not the service locator aware or service locator aware initializer should be allowed in controllers. It's really easy to turn this around and pass the service locator as a dependency or as a um, yeah, as a dependency into your controllers. So for me, it's under user source controller and index controller. So this is the controller right here and if I were to go to the source abstract action controller and go to the abstract controller you can find down here under get service locator that this is where the error is coming or the notice it's not an error the notice is coming from and essentially it just it's asking us to use a factory to inject the service locator into our class super easy so let's just go ahead and do that first we're going to take create a property for the service locator and since I don't have a construct on this, I'm going to create one. And I'm going to have the construct accept the argument of a service locator. I don't have service locator in here, so I'm going to type in the object that it should be or the class that it should be, so service locator interface. And you'll see here that it's now added up here. So this service locator equals service locator pretty easy now let's just add a getter because um, you'll see that most of these resources down here use get service locator which is what's throwing the notice so let's just create our own getter to overwrite that override that for the service locator all right and service locator interface. I'll pass back that object type. Perfect. So now, the next step we got to go to is under our config. Usually, if you were lazy like I was, you'll see that the controller is an invocable controller. Now we're going to have to change this around and convert it to a factory. So let's go ahead and go into the module.php file. And if you don't have a method named get controller config, create one and in this you essentially return the same thing that uh, you have in the rest of your configs here is just a configuration of factories so return factories and in this case I need to replace this user controller index And we're going to pass it use an anonymous function with passing the argument of service manager to it. Service locator, we're going to pull the service locator out of the service manager. And then we'll create the controller. So user index controller. equals new controller index controller and we're gonna pass it the service locator and then return user index controller there we go alright now we can take this off of our list of invocables because we have a factory for it and then go back and refresh our page done and that's how you inject the service locator into your controller rather than using the service locator aware interface or the service locator aware initializer.